For years, world attention has been focused on Darfur. While all eyes look to this western region of Sudan, few acknowledge the dire situation in the east. Despite the rugged beauty of the Kasala Mountains, the warm, hospitable people, smiling faces, and singing children, this quite possibly is one of the loneliest places on Earth. But to over 200,000 Eritrean refugees, it is home. Displaced by war and political bureaucracy, some have been here for over 25 years. The UN calls them the forgotten refugees. After four decades of neglect, isn't it time the world remembers? In July 2008, Healing Bridges made a commitment to remember the world's longest standing refugees the forgotten ones of Sudan. They embarked upon a month-long journey to the East Sudan region of Kasala. Despite monumental challenges, it was something Healing Bridges founder Zabiba had to do. <laughs> After all, she too was a forgotten refugee. Fortunate to make it to the U.S. as a teenager, this is her first time returning to the camps. It's been 30 years and I, you know, I remember this mountain that we um, sitting on and even though I left the first 13, 14 years of my life, you know, he, he made me who, who I am. And also as an Eritrean, it's not something that you forget what happened to the country, to the history, to the people. So the people that in the refugee camp, the people that here in Kassala are suffering is like really part of my body. She and her team focused on making a difference in the lives of the people the world has forgotten. Right now we're in their school building and as you can see, the blackboard is just a piece of concrete which is cracking, painted black. The floor, it's just dirt. There's rubble all over the place. It's hard to believe that a kid can even receive an education in this room. The scars from almost 40 years of neglect run deep. She's been here for 25 years. She has one boy and one girl, and they build a little hut for her, and this is her home. Some days, you know, they have food to eat. Some days they don't, and they just do what they can to feed their children. Daily life in a refugee camp is challenging at best. Each forgotten refugee faces the challenge of avoiding malaria, malnutrition, cholera, dehydration, and starvation. But greater than these challenges is the spirit of the Eritrean people. Never a hand out. Their hands are up, waving, smiling, and participating with hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> Their needs are basic. Clean drinking water, medical supplies, and... Only through education can their long-term goals of self-sufficiency and quality of life be met. We want school! But education isn't free. The reality is most refugee mothers have to choose between educating or feeding their children. My children, they always ask, don't, don't spend the money because we want to go to school. They want to school instead of feeding. And I am afraid that they will feel sick if they, they don't find food, you see. Everybody is living from hand to mouth. So we don't have the chance to take our children to the school. Healing Bridges is partnering with local aid agencies and government officials to fast track the change the forgotten ones of Sudan have desperately been dreaming of. The progress is happening. I see it and I feel it and I... You know, um, the people that are helping us here are just incredible. Change that will guarantee a brighter tomorrow for girls like... My name is Yair Mahmoud. My name is Swab Maroma. My name is Umsala. My name is Sam. My name is Tamadu Mohamed Noor. 
Zabiba is a friend of mine. She was one of these refugees. She at one point was like one of these girls you see here. And when you look at these kids, at these beautiful girls, you wonder how many thousands of Zabibas are there in this camp who have brilliant minds, who have such strength of spirit, who could also be like Zabiba and what they can create in the world and who they can be. And we want to give them that opportunity. There's over 200,000 refugees in this camp. Which one of these little girls could be a doctor if we gave her a chance? Well, now we are that bridge to give them that help. And you can provide that help. And the solutions are so simple. So please, please, please do what you can. Help these beautiful children be able to have a future to help be able their families to have the future that we can provide and we can do it together. Thank you. Now that you've met some of the forgotten refugees, what will you do? Continue to look the other way like the rest of the world or commit to making a difference? An investment in these Eritrean refugees will yield unforgettable results, impossible for the world to ignore. What will you do? They're waiting. <laughs>